my god, we finally had it! Uh, oh. Fuck! Oh. Oh. Oh, my chest hurts. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> so sick. Crack them open. They'll be your best bet for loot. It's times like right now I wish I drank. Practically purple. <laughs> No, I can't drink. Shortly after high school, I developed like an alcohol intolerance. And now if I drink anything, I immediately get like instant hangover while drinking still. The run, the run ruined. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Accurate. True. Oh, bro, I will always take grilled cheese. Oh. <laughs> okay, what, what's two? Did I throw two over the fence or one? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have to check everywhere eventually. Drink water after each glass? Yeah, that's what my cousin was telling me. He developed, like, the same thing. That you just have to like power through with water and apparently if you do that for a while you can start to reverse your intolerance and i was like that, that sounds so terrible though that i just quit drinking <laughs> That's what weed is for. Yeah, right. If there, there are other vices. I live in the great white land of the they don't care about weed anymore, so. But that won't cure my sadness. That would just make me sleepy. <laughs> so here we are. Stuck in the middle with my consequences again. Now there's no ladder. And there's... Still no guard down there, but there's no ladder, so I can't use that as a quick and easy way. Uh, I don't know if we have the perfect broken guard again. That'll be an interesting question. I'm so stupid, too. I just panicked that somebody was going to see the guy I domed in a bad spot, so I chased after the next guard. And I should have just waited until he was in a safe spot like I normally do. Like the whole play is for. But I went for that guy and then I got hooked up on the fucking key card. So stupid. So, so stupid. Am I trying just winning? That's the plan, man. That's the play, I think. It's the only one I got left. I'm out here counting on my last brain cell to get me through this. Game was what you play this about. The game keeps giving me like the perfect setups. Game wants me to move on. I want to move on. Shit, I hate Alesso, but I'll go do Alesso. But don't let the game win. I don't have the luxury anyway. I said I'd record a series. I don't get just be like, oh, we didn't do that map. Ooh, shit. I mean, unless there's a really good reason, like why we're not doing Firestarter.
You coming, helicopter? Why no fire starter? Uh, because of the parameters of the challenge, it would be physically impossible. Because I can't make gangsters cuff themselves. And I can't kill them. So I would be unable to solo full pull day one. <laughs> Without being able to kill anyone. Just knock them out, I fucking wish. They're not dead. They're just sleeping forever. There's a guard there. Guard. Gord, damn it. That's the other annoying thing. That guard that caught me there when I saw the yellow hat and got so excited. He was only going to go into that room. He doesn't even come down here. Tell me the time. My watch has stopped. So <laughs> non-lethal weapons actually do their job. <laughs> uh, oh, I want to die. Are any of the guards even stuck? We don't even know. I've already seen two patrolling upstairs and nobody's stuck up here, which is ideally where you'd want your guard to be stuck. He's going. He's mobile. Guy's up there. Watch that guard. If he's stuck, we we're okay. If he is not stuck, we're fucked. <laughs> I think he's stuck, though. Guard. Oh, fuck. Metal if only. If fucking only. Watch the guard. What was walking up behind me? Please tell me it's not the guard that I needed to be stuck. Please tell me you're a civilian. Be a civilian. Be a civilian. Oh, you're a civilian. Good. I have to sit around in this room until the guards come to me. We've thrown too many. Now, now, we have to be patient. Yes, patient. Patient. I can do patient, right? Right? All I have to do is stay in this room. It's not that hard. I just have to stay in this room. And not leave this room to go check out things. To look to look at stuff. Uh. Right? Right? Like, I mean, what's one peak in those containers over there, right? right? Then I'll know if I have to drill them or not. And then I'll feel better. Down and I don't have to go into that one at all. I do have to go into that one, though. See, now, now we know more. We know more. We know that was a good intel gathering mission. Knock, 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 oh, knock, knock. What's in here? You should come in here. You should. Oh, no. Oh, no. Down, damn it. Come, with come on, fucker. Come on, fucker. Come on, fucker. Come on, fucker. Get in here. Get in here. Hey. Your life is literally on the line. Follow. Sir? You know what? Yeah, hang out behind the door.
watch the guard. It's kind of there. Hey, oh, Mr. Gardo. Please come in this room. Please, please, please. I need you. Damn you. Guard. Oh, shit. Shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Can you guys just patrol into this room real quick? I mean, I guess I could take you in places that aren't this room. Just seems kind of dangerous. Stop right there. Uh... Hi, control. No, it was just the hiccups. Sir? I really needed you to drop a key card. Now we gotta deal with the guards. The vault needs two cards. Enter almost simultaneously. Two more. Two more. Something particularly tasty in there. Shit. Hit the deck. Hey you, down. Down, fucker, and stay. Are they both on the roof? What are the odds? Watch out for the one is. Where's the other one? Oh no. Oh, where's the other one? Find that Zen place in your mind and stay down. He's stuck. He's down. There should be two more. Where are they? One's on the roof. The basement? The basement? The basement? Is he in the basement? He's in the basement. You. Reach for the sky. Surrender. You could have given me a zip tie. You really could have been neighborly. A little assistance would have been great. Uh, that other motherfucker could see the guy upstairs, who I haven't yelled at in a little while anyway. I gotta get up there quick. Okay. Stay down. Stay down and I won't shoot. Drop your gun now. And you couldn't have given me a zip tie. Okay, well, whatever. Would you relax? Nothing is gonna happen. Okay. Stay down. You stay. We're out of things. That's down. Outside's clear except for the artifact which is going to be the thing that i am least excited to do uh i'm not willing to saw this because of the proximity of the broken guard so we'll drill it you stay okay seems stupid but let's math out our path run right over here and grab it we're gonna run back. Get all of our stamina. Go. Yes. <gasps> you stay the fuck down. Did we get a no break? Sick. <clears throat> I 
Uh, I only get three trip mines with no perks, so I brought the ECM because uh, there might be a point in time where I need it to give myself the extra time to finish moving the bags to get out in a very, very clutch situation at the end. Um, for instance, we had a run yesterday that I almost finished. It got to an hour and I fell off a roof while juggling a couple of guys up here. Um, and I was going to need the ECM because the one guard that was stuck was staring at a piece of loot. So I was going to need to activate him even with all my stuff done or my pages done. Throw the ECM down, grab whatever was in there or just see if there was anything in there and then get the hell out. But, uh, you know, I fell off a roof. All right, so this is all looted it up. Unfortunately, again, I didn't get a tie for him, so I'm going to have to deal with this guy for the rest of the map. Uh, all right, let's figure out how I want to move the loot first off. So I got that thing going out of back. That guard is here, though. So, like, I could load everything off right here and run it across, so long as that guard doesn't ever become a problem. Yeah, and I mean, there's so much RNG, like, I gotta deal with these assholes, I gotta make sure that I get the key cards in close enough proximity to get the friggin' vault open. I need one of these murky water guys to be stuck because I have to go into the security room because there can be loot in there. It's rough. And I spent a lot of time just kind of spinning in circles, thinking, because I'm not sure at all what our next step should be. Because I don't know where I want to move these bags. I feel like I should move everything up and drop them down over there. But I could also ensure it safely by taking it to the basement and running it in the same way. I think I'm going to do that. Now your interview. Nice. Okay, so that's clear. This is clear. This is clear. This is clear. That's clear. That's clear. Server. Got him at 18 seconds. Run downstairs, look in here. May as well go for the artifact right now because it's the one thing that will fuck this run that still exists. Like it literally did in the last run, even though I don't think we had that run. Got him on the minute. Look out, guard. Holy shit. Like, there's no way he got stuck, right? It's a guard. It's a guard. Watch out for the guard. It's a guard. People will pay fortunes for this ancient Babylonian shit. Thank you. 
Just breathe calmly and think of a happy Cool. We got the artifact. And we've cleared the yard now. I'm just going to use a drill on this one, too. I don't feel particularly safe going the other way. Because he's stuck, and I don't want that to, like, shake him free or something. Or alert him. He didn't move. Just breathe calmly and think of a happy thought. I thought I saw something on my screen for a sec. Money. That's the other rando bag I was looking for. Stay down. Try to Yelling at my civvies much too frequently, but I'm paranoid. Yes, full pull is a contingency, which is what's made this level a giant pain in the ass. Because if I just needed to get the loot, I wouldn't even get a guard down. I would just go through without taking care of any guards. But because I need to take the vault, I uh, need a very specific setup. Which kind of sucks ass, I'll be real. All right, I think we're shoveling everything into the sewers. Uh, both. So on Twitch, I'm just going to highlight all of the successful runs so that anybody can watch the entirety of it, if you would like, with the existing audio and chat and all that other shit. Uh, and then I'm going to upload a YouTube video of post commentary going over the footage. I'm glad he didn't care about any of this, but what the fuck was that? <laughs> Get down. Hit the deck. Just find a comfortable position. <laughs> what, what the fuck was that, Simmy? He didn't give a shit. No 
phones, no whispering. Stay down. Don't move. <clears throat> I'm 45 on that now. Yeah, that'll be the one. He's got a full mocap suit for his YouTube videos and shit. Find that zen place in your mind and stay down. Uh, where the fuck? Right, the rest of the loot is in the floor. And I still haven't looted all of it. Oh, good, another artifact. What in the fuck? Why am I so artifact heavy? Moving this is going to take forever. I'm going to say 25 for these boys right now. Oh my god. This is a bad joke. Okay, so those are all open. That's open. That's open. There's no more over here, right? No. Oh, no, I, I came up with it. We were talking about it a while ago. Originally, I wanted to do a ninja challenge where nobody was allowed to see you at all ever in any of your uh, maps. But that actually straight up isn't possible in just like most maps. It deleted a lot from the list, so we refined it. And nothing in here and there. Cool. I think everything should be backed. If the money mattered, it would be sick. Yeah, imagine being excited that the most expensive loot possible spawned. No, 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 no. I would rather be very upset <laughs> that I have to carry slow shit. Yeah, I can do first world bank without being seen while leaving the back guards up. It's just, why would you? Which is exactly how I'll be viewing it in this challenge. Is it a pathing thing? Wait, for which part? The why I take those guards out? Cook-off is impossible? Well, it's not a stealth map, so it doesn't fit the parameters of the challenge anyway. I'd have to kill people to survive there, unless somebody else killed people and I didn't have to, but then it wouldn't be solo. Uh, like, one of the maps that is surprisingly impossible, or rather we're gonna have to change the rules for, is Nightclub. Because it's impossible to drill the doors without perks. Without killing the guards. And I can't kill the guards. And I can't dom them because they're gangsters. There is a variant where the manager will spawn with the card. And I can use that to get into one of the rooms, but I wouldn't be able to full pull off of that.
Just give yourself drill skills for nightclub. Uh, yeah, no, no full pull is what we were thinking. Is that we'll just do it as minimum pull and get the variant where he has the key card and the room you need is upstairs in the office and then you can just throw the stuff out and leave. Uh, okay, so these guys are down. I need... What's the fastest route to get back to the front? Probably out the front gate. So I'm going to call them like 15 seconds. I got to get that bag over there and get it in. And go pick up another thermite. Hmm. Don't like his position. I'm not trying to go off of that and lose it for some dumb shit. And I guess technically I could leave that to last. So we'll say 45, 45. All the loot's down there. We'll just start moving it. Come back up before 45 to yell at them again. We're going to go the long route with this. Because there are no guards that can possibly see us going this way. And while it will take longer, it's perfectly safe. And we still have the ECM as a backup. Okay, 40 seconds roughly. Damn, dude. It's rough. That other one that actually had the ladder spawn, that would have been perfect. I should have taken it. Realistically. Instead of fucking around and screwing myself. artifacts I see 42. I like to fuck around with these hostages, don't I? Yeah, this is just going to take forever, like that part of uh, the bank I did. 
Don't move. Stay down. Stay down. Honestly, I think Big Bank is going to be like one of the worst ones to do. Later, Sergeant. I'm a good one, dude. Kill these people? I can't. Upstairs, yell at my hostages. All right, you lay on the ground, and you lay on the ground, and I'll be back at thirty-seven fifty to yell at you again. Ah. Oh, good, another artifact. <laughs> so happy we have so many of these. probably go yeah the artifact i think is still the heaviest item in the game it used to be the engine in big oil but they changed it i'm happy to report that they at least have a 10 second wiggle room All right, we're on the minute now what up boredom good news my friend everything is open all of the loot in the map is bagged Never done big oil it's like a little mini game to figure out which engine you have to take out but they made the engine about this heavy now like assault rifles is it used to be worse than artifact which was just an absolutely terrible time because uh you had to carry it across the entire map it's in Did that one at 10 seconds. Oh good, another artifact. Cool. We've almost got everything moved through the sewers as well. Stay down and I won't shoot. Stay down. Try to meditate or something. Call that one around 15. And actually, I think about it, Big Oil is another map that we cannot do in this challenge because you cannot do day one under the parameters of the challenge. It's just not possible. I mean, I guess unless you got insanely lucky and there was zero loot in the house, 
on day one. The garage was empty, had a safe, and nobody ever came down to investigate the horrible grinding noise on their safe. Just doesn't seem... Seem like it'll happen. Again, the full pull parameter just kind of fucks that one over. Especially because I would consider the important information you have to pull off the tables to be part of that. And I would need 1000% need plane keys to do day two. Like that's not even up for contest. I'd have no bots. That's the next step. So we're going to have to run back, yell at these guys while moving everything up the ladder. Then we're going to need to move it over to the bottom. Then out to the hook. It's gonna take forever. Just breathe calmly and think of a happy place. Uh no, because there's a guard, unfortunately. Uh, there are one of two guards that'll spawn out back in specific locations, and the one that we got is standing out the back door. If we got the one in the corner that actually spawns right by here, uh, I would have just been able to walk it out the bottom, and it would have been a very easy, peaceful trip. All right, we're not taking an artifact up in that amount of time. Like, if that guard wasn't back there, I wouldn't have even come down here. I would go down there. Find that zen place in your mind and, stay down. and walk out the back door. But because that guard is out there, and I don't have any more pagers, obviously, because it's, you know, this map, uh, I can't deal with him. It would be impossible to deal with him and still get the armor. Which I think is the most annoying bit. No, I don't. But I also think that it would be hilarious if I climb all the way up there with that artifact and go to throw it in the corner like I do, and I'm not quite high enough, and it just falls all the way down the ladder. Then you can sit and cry with me. Just find a comfortable position and relax. This will soon be over. This challenge would be much, much easier if I could bring other people. Oh, I have managed to find three artifacts in three runs. Just pulling from the pile of stuff. Well, you wouldn't even have to watch the civilians. Because if I had a partner, I would have two cable ties from them. And those two guys would be tied down. And they could just help me move bags. Because we've been on this map for over an hour. In other attempts, no more civilians are going to enter this building. 
It's just the two that start here, and then after a little while, two from outside. The most annoying part is that all of my guards are down in good places where the civvies will not go, except for the guard in the security room, who, again, I have to take out. And there's nothing I can do because I can't move him. If I could, like, push him, or I guess in another attempt, if I was willing to give up uh, shot cooldown and pray, I could, like, stand in the corner and get him to try and come cuff me and just punch him in the face and get him to cuff himself. If we're lucky, he won't shoot. That's an artifact. Okay. So we appear to have four artifacts. Three from inside and the guaranteed one outside. Don't you fucking dare. Holy shit. Yeah, 10 seconds wake up room is over. And I think somebody said something last night about like after they get up, it degrades. But I wasn't fully remembering that. Scary. Oh, it just resets for new value. That could actually be good. Seeing as it was at a, about its lowest possible value, <laughs> it might actually be better. Imagine accidentally clicking on them. It is something I am legitimately worried about because I do little one shots like that all the time that I don't mean to do because I just like twitch my hand a little bit. I mean, yeah, if I could still kill, easy, 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 easy. Don't move. Stay down. Thank you. 
technically you can runda um they did implement a system to get some of them back but we looked over the system and it's apparently just a 20 percent chance when you pick up ammo and because i only get to pick up four little ammo drops i actually have never received any in these runs that has been a run that we've been trying to do i received one on a failed run once So currently I can still move a couple of bags, right? No go 35, 35, go. So I can move four bags if there's no artifact to where I have to throw them, and two if, if there is an artifact. So for the final area, I'm literally just going to be running out, dropping it off, and coming back. I may even start dancing with the guard at the back door. But I'll be cutting it down to moving one bag at a time. Just breathe calmly and think of a happy place. I'm also thinking there are a couple of routes where I can go off the roof. I just find it so risky, especially after we lost that run because I fell. I don't really want to go do any more rooftop shenanigans. to go for my final final bag i can throw the thing down i wonder if this is possible sub one hour i, I do think so yeah Stay down and I, won't shoot. Stay I mean like if i had these guys in a slightly different location or again maybe if i had moved the first security guard back a little bit by letting him walk to me then it might be entirely possible just to hide the guards and never have to worry about the civvies Plus, there's a lot of time in my current run here where I just stood around because I was waiting for a very specific objective to be ticked off before I, like, moved loot. Uh, entirely because I'm just tired of having to reset all the time. Just like how Diamond Store was so infuriating for me because I had to uh, keep resetting to get the specific safes. And then I just have to deal with having a thousand civilians in my face while trying to move loot. Oh, that was dumb. I mean, I guess I went at 40, not 35, but...
Honestly, I think I'm going to try and get those artifacts going first. was a little slow in that transition. But I also couldn't remember if I yelled at 45 or 40. I think it was 45. That took way too long. Okay, I had 10 second wiggle room that time. We're gonna figure out a new route. Okay, let's check the timing on this. So we'll get them at 110. Not very good. Better. But the guard was in a good position for it, and it's still considerably riskier. Okay, I have a theory. I have a theory. A plan. A play, even. Still there. I think he lives there.
stay down. Just breathe calmly and think of a happy death. Stay down. Just find a comfortable position. And Yelling at them at forty. It takes like the same amount of fucking time to get here. Shaves off like a couple of seconds, but I think that we just were going to have a tight time frame. The other option is like I come down here. You see what I mean? That guy, that guy just fucking phased out of the fucking bushes in front of me. Truly, he did, though, and I think I would rather just have this take nine fucking years to get all this loot in here. I mean, like, it sucks, but what else can we do? I could shoot them. But then we'd have to come right back. I had lengthened marking in the skill tree. Probably keep that guard at the back mark the entire time. Or this would be one of those moments. Should have brought those three fucking trip mines. Could have got most of his route marked. But the ECMs do afford me a different kind of victory. And the victory that they afford me is that at the very end, I can just ECM when these guys decide that they're going to start calling, walk away, load the last bag, walk out of the map like a champion. Problem is, average route like that takes me like a minute and five seconds. Just terrifying. What infamy level I am? I am infamy 50. I got the ill. I gotta work on those, uh, those artifacts first. As soon as they're out, this will get so much faster. And I have achieved the vast, vast, vast majority of my infamies exclusively through stealth. In fact, I can't even say for sure that a lot of my loud stuff leveled me at all 
because I did most of it at level cap. fuck up or did I just not remember the time I yelled at them I think I yelled at them in 10 after and I thought I yelled at them like way sooner Found the last artifact. be doing this for so long. <laughs> Once I get everything stacked up outside and the regular artifacts have been moved off completely, I should be able to move one bag or run no problem. I realize now I should have just followed that guard. I could see where he was and where he was going, which means I could definitely have gotten in the bottom door. Very insanity inducing. Don't move. Stay down. Start with the artifacts, start with the artifacts, start with the artifacts, start with the artifacts, artifacts start with. 
Fuck, my recording file's already two hours. I don't like it when they get that big. But I'm not cutting it in the middle of this run. down and I won't shoot. Yay, we secured another artifact. Don't move, stay down. Okay, all four artifacts are off of the map. I'm not going to worry about them anymore. They're gone. They're the slowest, hardest things to move. They're not my problem. They're gone. I am at least twice as fast with every other object. Which means I should be able to move it from that door. One shot apiece. Yell down at 40. Twenty seconds to come up here. Oh. 
Oh. That scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Boom. The only object that is heavier than the samurai armor, I think, because I think it's the same weight as money and coke is lighter and the painting is lighter. Uh, I think guns are a similar weight. The server is a little heavier. Yo, yo, yo. Somebody looking to get fucking shot. Same guy, same guy, same guy, same guy, same guy. Guard. Could be fun. Good story. Tell you what, man. You bite down on this fucking towel. I'll shoot you in the fucking arm. You don't make any noise, attract any guards, and stay alive. And it's all Gucci. Get down now. Oh! Oh, I don't like that! Oh, I don't like that! Oh, I don't like that! I don't like that! Don't do that! I don't like that! I, I do not like that! What the fuck was that?! I yelled at the guy who was on the ground, and he stood up and fell out of the ground again! From the lay position, he was like, fuck, you want me up? You want me down, boss? What do you want? What do you want? There's the server. Alright, moment of truth time. Moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. Gotta go, 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 SHUT UP, MAN! Find that zen place in your mind and stay down. There is, actually, Lucky. There is, in fact, such an option. Uh, however, you can mute the, the contractor. Really, really cool. Shuts them up. But it doesn't give a fuck about what is important information and what is just him randomly talking to you. So, in maps where he actually tells you objective timings and shit like that, he just won't talk to you. <laughs> and it's garbage. I hate it so fucking much. I don't want to listen to them at all, but at the same time, when I'm doing GGC, if you want to read me that code at the end, that'd be great. Yeah, that little, that it dashing from where it is to like middle of my screen to tell me it's off the side of the screen, the little exclamation mark. Uh, that has given me a couple of heart attacks. Sure there is a mod, but mod isn't allowed with the people I play with. That's strange, but understandable, given the fact that I've had quite a few people tell me that they just jump into a regular pub lobby and it's hacked and they're billionaires and they didn't have fun. How many bags are left? I don't know. Why don't you Google what a full pool on this map is? Like, for me, not for you. 
7 million bags? No. Shadow Raid. So 10. And there's one bag at the front of the map, so there's nine bags back here. Which means, because these are one minute cycles, we could be out of this map in 10 minutes! Pass or fail! At least white Xmas is acceptable. Why would I say that? Well, because it's true. Pass or fail, I'm out of here. In 10 minutes. <laughs> well, because at this point in the map, the RNG is mostly done with. Other than this civvy just losing his fucking mind and dialing 911 in his sleep. Ten minutes or junior. Let's pray for pass. I am praying very much for pass. <laughs> I am praying very much for it. Oh good, I just saw that guard go in the door to uh, downstairs. Which is terrifying. Because that means he gets really close to the guy that I have cuffed in there. And he could have just been in that doorway and got me one time when I wasn't paying attention. I vote for a fail. This is a very pretty map. Why are you the way that you are? I would like to see some new map of any kind. New shiny mapitude. I've... I've probably done something dumb like while well, sleepwalking. Um, my oh, my only memorable sleepwalking story is kind of horrible. <laughs> Mom's car and going to the gas station and back. Uh, no. But not buying anything. That doesn't sound like sleepwalking, dog. I don't know anyone who could sleepwalk and operate machinery. Walked around in circles outside my door. Yeah, that sounds about right. I've seen a bunch of that. I've seen people like pick up and move stuff and try and hand stuff, but I've never seen somebody operate machinery. That's it's happened. That sounds crazy. Last time I sleepwalked and remembered like the, the last time I really sleepwalked. I, uh, I was woken up on my dad's balcony and he was shaking me and I was just standing outside screaming. Well, there's my, cause my, was in the car? What? Followed him out the door? Bro, I feel like your cousin stole your aunt's car while pretending to sleepwalk. <laughs> and he's getting away with it. <laughs> that's that's what I feel. Shit, you weren't supposed to wake up sleepwalkers? <laughs> Sorry, she told me.
Maybe it was she had a wild dream. Yeah, 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 it wasn't even him. She was sleepwalking. He stole the car. Thought he got caught and found a way out. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? Usual complex was including eating and driving? Really? Comparison is come apart. Parts of the brain are asleep, other parts are awake. Off a of verified site on Harvard Health? That's fucking crazy. Actually sits inside of the state of disbelief, which is why I again did not believe him. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Most people I know that sleepwalk can't even figure out that they're holding the cup in their hands upside down. I hope there's two bags in that corner still. Or we're gonna have 24 and I'm gonna have some questions. <laughs> yeah, unlikely, but would be really, really funny. I've published six papers this week on a bird that doesn't exist. No one has caught me. We don't fact check here. No, there's only one here. And there's one here. No, I didn't think it was a lie either. Especially that post, something posted on Harvard Health sounds a little crazy to me if it would be a lie because Harvard cares a lot about their credibility. So if you make some shit like that up, somebody figures out that it's fake, then suddenly all of Harvard's credibility is in shambles. So yeah, it's, it was probably an actual test and study and I doubt very much that it's fake. <laughs> Okay, real talk. Could we only have 24 or is there a singular bag out there somewhere looking for us? Is possible that's anywhere? Okay. I'm still going to run around, check my spots. But I'm pretty sure we've checked and rechecked the loot spots in this map a lot. That got looted out. There wasn't shit in there. Not there. And very hard and overkill. What about death sentence and death wish? Oh wait, that's the maximum number of bags? So I could still just have 24 somewhere? Okay, so there's definitely nothing here. Looking that over, we looked all that over. We looked all this over. Your safety depends on good behavior. Am I clear? Am I really sure there's nothing in here? Yeah, nothing in here. Pretty sure there's no spawns there, but I looked anyway. 
No bag in the corner. We have the painting and it's not here. Nothing there. We got that. We got this. Things don't spawn outside. So this is dead thousand percent. There's no loot upstairs in this building. Find that zen place in your mind. Stay down. Stay down. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Nothing here, nothing there, because I know sometimes there can be cash bag in here. Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing in here. I go in the locker room, rub myself up against all the lockers. There's nothing in here. There's only 24 in these difficulties? Okay, well, I think we're full cleared. I think very much that we're full cleared here. Except for the one bag on the other side of the map. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing over here, nothing over here. Checked there, checked there, checked there, checked in there. Nothing back here. That's open and looted. That's open and looted. Don't move. Stay down. So upstairs is clear. Ground floor is completely clear. And outside is definitely clear. Through all that, got that, nothing in here. We've cleared all the other ones. Wait. No, nothing in here. So yeah, pretty sure. Look at the floor, not at me. This map is clear. I'm not gonna go run through the opening gates again to verify that everything in the yard is open and gone because we know that it is. We did that at the beginning. And that footage can be gone over. So I'm leaving. I missed a crate in the beginning. What are you talking about? Did I really get pushed off of that and not come back to it in this attempt? No, it's open. Let's go! Oh, God. No, the joke's good. They didn't even start calling. I still the ECM we plenty of time. Thank God we'd set up that way, but... Woo! It's done. Shadow Raid complete.